Kelly, we are talking about a uh, line of business applications. So if you're a small healthcare practice, if you're a multi-location business, if you're a retailer, if you are a manufacturing firm, they are inundated with technology. You and I were talking about this last night. There's so many applications they use to run their business every day from accounting to finance to QuickBooks to CRM to sales and marketing to delivery. How do they manage them and what does that look like? So let's just start there. Um, your thoughts on businesses and being inundated with too much technology. Well, uh, you know, I always think that you can't be inundated with too much technology, but the, the too much of anything is, 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 isn't good. So yeah. what are the, what are the, the most dangerous words is this way we've always done it, man. There are ways to streamline processes. And a lot of times there's just because you use this hundred year old software it doesn't mean that there isn't a better way to do it. And there isn't another right. company that can do it better with a couple tweaks of the uh, uh, flip of the wrist of the roll of the eyeball. Heck, uh, that's why I'm here at IT Nation right now. We don't use this software, but we're going to we're going to end up migrating to it to offer better customer service for our clients. It's painful. It stinks. But it's, it's like working out. It's painful and it stinks, but you feel better after you're doing you're done doing it. And you pick up efficiencies and you, and you usually can service your clients better, make your, your employees happier and uh, business is smoother and, and you make more money. I mean, that's what we're in this for. So, yeah. but all too often, what do people do? They got a hundred year old software. It's on edition one. It's, it's insecure. It runs dog slow. They're running DOS and they're not putting any love or attention. In it. Anything that you don't put attention to is going to run like poop. Um, yep. And unfortunately, or fortunately, NTM, we come in there and we make those things, we optimize them and make them run well. But sometimes you can only put lipstick on a pig for so long. Uh, and you really, the number one thing is to make sure you have a maintenance contract and make sure it's up to date for security mm -hmm. purposes, firmware, software, versions. There's a reason why they're putting out versions. And it's because it, they're trying to make their product more secure and uh, uh, faster and better and optimize. All too so often that? we run into customers that are five, six, seven, eight versions. I mean, we were at dinner last night and the guy was telling you, uh, he was what, seven years behind on updates. Wow. So let's talk about that. What happens if you're a manufacturing firm, if you're, um, you know, some sort of business and you a don't have a maintenance contract and B your software is up to date. Why is that bad for your business? Well, I think you meant to ask me to say your software is out of date. Yes. So why it's bad is because if and when that software glitches and you walk in and you do call for support, first thing you get put at the bottom of the line. It's because you don't have a maintenance contract. They don't care. Yeah. Uh, and just because your business is stopped, they don't care. And that goes for any company. There is a reason why they want you to have a maintenance contract because it bumps you up to the top. That's number one. Number two is the first thing they're going to do is, well, we need to upgrade you. And a lot of times those upgrades take hours. So if you're seven, it, it could take as little as an hour. It could take a day. So your, your, your top clock doesn't even start ticking to help you until you're on the latest, greatest. Then the number one thing, and the insurance companies are figuring this out is are you secure and can you get hacked? Because what's in those line of business applications? Financial data. That's where the bad people want. They also know ransomware. That's what they want to freeze up because you can't do your business without that line of business application. So that's why it's called right. line of business application. So it, it is just, you know, it, it's like your heart. You're going to keep your heart healthy because if you your heart dies, you're dead. Right. And why would you neglect your line of business application. Yeah, totally hear you. So how is our process um, going to manage that? So if you're a business that comes to NTM and they say, hey, we are software is out of date or it's old or we're a law firm or we're a manufacturing firm, whatever the case might be, and we've got issues managing our line of business applications, what does NTM do to solve that? Well, first and foremost, we, we identify it. It's in our step two of our life cycle onboarding process, meaning we're going to identify that for you. We're going to talk to the, um, the line of business application service provider. And we're going to say, what's your best practice? What's your recommendation? Before we even sign the contract or implement anything, 
we're going to talk about what the path and the impact to the client will be and what will it make better in their life because somebody probably hasn't sat down and explained to them from a non-sales perspective saying, hey, this is the pros and these are the cons. What would you like to do? Now, we, I would love to say we draw a hard line in the sand and don't do it and, and don't move forward without doing the updates, but we do. We, we Sometimes there are reasons, albeit some of them are crazy. Oh, we can't print to this printer that's 9 million years old or, or, or whatever, but you know, everybody has a reason and we're, and they're all valid. So yeah. we'll tell them and then we'll, we'll say, here's where your impact is going to be. If, and when this thing dies, we're not getting proper backups, you're dead in the water. And then they sign off and say yes or no. Yeah. Uh, but we're very, very kind and compassionate and understanding where, where we're going to work with the customer and say, Look, you know, you need to get this upgraded you know, everybody knows, your existing IT company knows, your existing IT person knows, everybody knows, it's just the elephant in the room. And how do we, uh, how do we eat an elephant one bite at a time? So uh, it's just, we're gonna discuss it like adults and we're gonna put a path in place that works for their business. And um, listen, man, I, I'd love to say that every upgrade work goes flawlessly and it doesn't impact the business, but it does. And then it does. And sometimes it, it, it totally messes everything up and you're, and you're like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done it. But I'd rather do an upgrade and have a problem on our terms. I think everybody then have it happen at, a, at a, the worst possible time ever. And that's when things go bad at the worst possible time. Oh, yeah. Why did it have to happen now? Because life wants to challenge you. Let's, let's jump at that uh, quickly and aggressively. And a lot of times people come to us for that very reason, because we specialize in the aforementioned ERPs and EMRs and, and, and financial packages. We, we are great at that, especially with the integrations to other things like Office 365, to Teams, to from, from your financial package to your ERP. We'll do it. And I'll break it down into English so it makes sense. Uh, and biggest thing is we want to make sure that there's not one person that is in charge of this because you know the, you got the lottery syndrome or the bus syndrome. And so when it's the lottery and they take off and they're the only person that knows your line of business application because they yeah. custom wrote it, yeah, that's a problem. We're yeah. going to protect you against that. Huge problem. I hear you on that one. That's a huge pain point. So Kelly, where can people find out more about this process and about how we can solve these problems for them? Well, soon it'll be on our website. I think it might be now, but at, at any rate, you could reach out to me uh, my cell phone is 248-808-4888. My email is ksiegel at trustntm.com. Uh, again, I'm here to serve, not to sell. And if you want to understand and say, well, mine's different, uh, this is what the impact is, I will dissect it, research it, and get back to you and say, here's, here's where we're running into challenges. Uh, here's where, the, where your exposure is. It's, it's, um, and I'm here to help in any way, shape, or form because, uh, so that's what uh, we're, we're put on this earth to do. Dave. Love it. Agreed. All right, everyone. We're going to adjourn. Check us out at www.trustntm, T-R-U-S-T-N-T-M.com for more information. And as always, we will see you next Friday at 9.15 Eastern.